when I hear what we call music, it seems to me that someone is talking and talking about his feelings or about his ideas of relationships. But when I hear uh, traffic, the sound of traffic here on 6th Avenue, for instance, I don't have the feeling that anyone is talking. I have the feeling that uh, sound is acting. And I love the activity of sound. What it does is it gets uh, louder and quieter, and it gets higher and lower, and it gets longer and shorter. It does all those things which I've, I'm completely satisfied with that. I don't need sound to talk to me. We don't see much difference between time and space. We don't know where one begins and the other stops. <laughs> So that uh, most of the arts we think of as being in time, and most of the arts we think of as being in space. I, Marcel Duchamp, for instance, began thinking of uh, time, I mean thinking of music, as being not a time art, but a space art. And he made it a piece called Sculpture Musicale, which means <coughs> different sounds coming from different places and lasting, producing a sculpture which is sonorous and which remains. People expect listening to be more than listening. And so sometimes they speak of uh, inner listening um, or the meaning of sound. Uh, when I uh, talk about music, I gen it finally comes to people's minds that I'm talking about sound that doesn't mean anything, uh, that is not inner, but is just outer. And they say, they, these people who understand that finally say, you mean it's just sounds, thinking, that to, for something to just be a sound is to be useless. Whereas I love sounds just as they are. And I have no need for them to be anything more than what they are. I don't want them to be psychological. I don't want a sound to pretend that it's a bucket or that it's a president or that it's in love with another sound. <laughs> I just want it to be a sound. Uh, and I'm, I'm not so stupid either. There was a, a German philosopher who's very well known, Immanuel Kant, and he said there are two things that um, don't have to mean anything. One is music and the other is laughter. <laughs> don't have to mean anything that is in order to give us very deep pleasure. Well, you know that, don't you? The sound experience, which I prefer to all others, <clears throat> is the experience of silence. And the silence almost everywhere in the world now is, is uh, traffic. If you listen to Beethoven or to Mozart, you see that they're always the same. But if you listen to traffic, you see it's always different.